Hello again, this is Alex with MasterChartsTrading.com and this is Market Recap for Friday, November 19th, 2020. As always, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and share this video with others. Uh, it's going to be a relatively short video. I'm extremely pressed on time, so I'll get right to it. As always, we'll cover stocks. I'll give an example of a stock that we uh, we haven't traded this one, but it's just a great example. We'll look at high yield debt as it approaches bearish levels, vice versa for the treasury bonds. We'll look at oil, most likely is going to continue lower for a little while. And we'll look again at interplay of dollar and gold. If you're a subscriber, then we will cover all of these stocks and securities in the separate video newsletter. Uh, and then this stocks as well for the speculator newsletter. All right, so um, S&P 500, this is a weekly chart. We can look at daily chart, makes very little difference. So daily chart, we just hit a new all time record high today. Uh, so overall, obviously, it's a pretty straightforward um, bullish chart. I continue using my proprietary master charts trading price action indicators. You can see them on this chart. There are four lines, the green, blue, red, and yellow lines. You can find out more about how to use them by clicking in the description. But pretty straightforward. Again, I'm, you know, I practice yoga, I practice meditation, I practice uh, kind of Zen Buddhist thought, um, and I apply that thought to my trading and you can see it's very clear very straightforward um, there's very little room for uh, subjective interpretation we're looking at objective reality here objective reality is that we have mathematically calculated um, lines uh, which we can use to trade so pretty straightforward again we're buying on close about the blue support resistance line, as happened here on the week of 18th of May 2020. You can use it on weekly chart, daily charts. Um, if you're going to use them, be using them on, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, 30 second charge, charts or five minute chart, you can do the same thing. I'm going to show it to you very briefly. Let's, for example, on Bitcoin, uh, we can, you know, it's a live chart so let's just put in five seconds and see how the behavior is and again you can do the same thing so for example i would have been shorting uh right there on a five second chart and once again i would have been shorting right there uh, on the five second chart of bitcoin so you can use them on any time frame if you're going to be using them on um, less than 24 hours a lesson daily then keep the uh, input as 250 length is 250 but if you're going to be using them on weekly charts which is what i've been kind of moving towards it's actually a lot less um, whipsaws so this is a weekly chart of s p 500 and you can clearly again see it uh, there's the breakout on 18th of may and since then I didn't see an opportunity to buy so for me a good opportunity would be to buy around the blue line and on a pullback but it never happened so since uh, may of 2020 until now almost two years into the making we're still making new records so again we're simply trailing at this blue support resistance line so if last week uh, or the first of november our stop was at 42 seven I'm reading it off the chart currently our stop is at four two eight one so again if it's not clear ask me uh, but I think it's pretty straightforward all I need is the uh, indicators to have like a uh, something to grasp to basically you need you need to have some sort of a uh, way to say okay am I, am I buying or selling this what am I doing with this chart same goes for Dow Jones. Again, pretty obvious. There's the buying opportunity back in May of 2020, and since then there's really no opportunity. 
we're seeing a bit of a narrowing of a trading range so what I mean here is if uh, recently the length between the yellow and green line was 23 percent uh, the current length between those two lines is about 15 percent so we're seeing a narrowing of a trading range usually when the trading range narrows there is a easier time for the price to flip directions so it's still you know quite a bit of distance to cover towards bearish levels but at least it's not as big as it was before so let's see where it gets us but for now i don't see a reversal really at all uh, when we get to junk bonds and to uh, uh, treasury bonds there may be a possibility uh, that something is indeed brewing under the surface looking at nasdaq even bigger move so again we were buying back here in april of 2020 uh, maybe as late as may of 2020 and since then really again no opportunity to get in uh, our opportunity to get in would have been around the blue line and you can see it was never touched so again objective reality is we're making new records uh, objective reality we need to be long and we need to be trailing higher advancing our stuff moving our stuff higher as the uh, security moves higher small caps were underperforming uh, trading sideways for a while uh, you know basically the entire 2021 but at least we had an opportunity to get in here in September of 2020 uh, we did not really have an opportunity in September of 2020 uh, for Nasdaq for example because the pullback really wasn't deep enough for my taste so right now um, you know as Nasdaq is actually making new records you can see today we made a new record this week uh, small caps actually moved lower so again another divergence and under and un another underperformance um, additionally again we can see uh, narrowing of trading range so if until recently the distance between the uh, green and yellow line was huge 77 points you can kind of read it off the chart here right now the same distance is significantly lower uh, you can see the distance is only 43 points so yes there is a narrowing of a trading range and uh, what that means is price will have a less difficult time of getting to bearish levels should that even occur for now we're still trailing higher we're still advancing our stop at the blue support resistance line okay i wanted to give an example of this company it's a huge company loaves companies so um once again if it's not yet entirely obvious what i do is I, i'm looking at the lines only you can see there's no volume or uh, there's no other indicators here but it's pretty straightforward so again we, we would be buying uh, here back in april of 2020 we're basically holding we had an opportunity right there where i'm hovering uh, somewhere between july and late august uh, to get in because this is our trigger we touch the blue support resistance line right there on the week of uh, 9th of august and we closed above it now let me show it to you on daily time frame because it will be more obvious on daily time frame and you can be more granular so if let's say you're tracking it on the weekly and you're like okay this looks pretty good when do i get in so here is the daily chart and you can again very clearly see it so there are the opportunities but i would have been getting in right there 10th of august so why because the stack closed below it and then closed above it the blue line so this is all i need to know and since then you can see a big nice move higher very straightforward very quick uh, so this would have been actually an excellent play for options uh, huge gain here you know if you get in with options here that's uh, 34 percent move easily 100 percent move for the option 
So very straightforward. Again, uh, do not complicate your own trading. Make things simple. Make things obvious. This is obvious. You see how obvious it is? It's pretty obvious. Okay, let's move on. Computer is a bit slow. I apologize. Okay, so let's look at junk debt. So junk debt, um, again, a huge narrowing of a trading range. This is a weekly chart. So this is, look at this range here uh, from just a few, you know, from March, for example, of this year, 17 points range. Currently, the same distance is two points, right? So we can look at uh, daily time frame as well. We'll, you know, pretty much see, see the same picture. So this is junk debt, high yield, high yield bonds. You see how narrow the trading is, is trading range is, meaning that the uh, distance between the lines have really narrowed. Now, additionally, this is really not a good news at all. So notice what's happening right now. Today we have closed below this red support resistance line. So this is big red flag, or in this case, yellow flag, caution. We are um, monitoring the situation very closely. Now we can project the indicators into the future. Not really much is happening in the future. They're pretty much the same as now, but the bearish levels are very close indeed. So why do I care about junk debt? And this is the reason. So we're currently looking at this blue um, histogram or uh, bar graph, whatever. Um, this is a correlation between S&P 500 and this security, high yield junk debt. Again, on the weekly chart, vast majority of the time, stocks and bonds do the same thing, or rather stocks, stocks and high yield junk debt do the same thing. So uh, what I'm worried is um, if we have I mean, right in this instance, we're obviously doing the opposite, where stocks are rising, junk debt is falling. So I'm wondering if this is some sort of a uh, uh, warning to stocks, you know, so junk debt is falling. Uh, and if it breaks below this yellow line, which is really close, it's like 1% away, um, I would be quite, uh, quite worried. Um, this, this may be not a good sign, not a good sign at all for uh, stocks. Let's see if it happens. If it does happen, um, I would be more cautious uh, buying stocks. Uh, opposite is happening with treasury bonds, TLT. So again, treasury bonds are high grade. This is as high grade as it gets, especially this uh, TLT 20 plus year. So long dated treasuries. Um, are as high grade as it gets, uh, meaning that usually investors buy treasury bonds during the time of increased fear. Now, until very recently, we were seeing the opposite. We were seeing bonds, treasury bonds, under severe pressure. We were actually shorting them. So uh, back here in January, February, we had a couple of opportunities to sell them short. Latest opportunities really didn't do much. You can see that there was, yes, definitely, you know, signals, but selling was not pronounced. So right now what's happening once again is, notice how wide the uh, trading range was, the distance between the green and yellow line was huge here, uh, you know, even in July. And now look how much they narrowed the same indicator lines. So what does that mean? It means that we're most likely going to see a trend change. So once again, we can project this into the future. So I cannot project the price into the future because if I do that, I would be considered an insane person. You cannot project price into the future. Uh, however, you can project my indicators. It's simply an offset. And notice how nicely they line up. So what does that mean? That means that we're, we're getting close and closer and closer to bullish levels. Price will have very little difficulty getting above this uh, blue line. It means that we're going to enter a new bull market for treasury bonds. Now, usually treasury bonds do the opposite of what stocks are doing. So let's look at the weekly treasury bonds. Here's weekly treasury bonds. 
and we're going to look at correlations. So by and large, it's not obviously not 100% clear, but it's more common for treasury bonds to do the opposite of what stocks are doing. This is a correlation to S&P 500. Notice that most of the time, but again, not often, not always, um, correlation is negative. So usually this um, implies that we're going to be seeing some sort of a uh, fearful event. So there is greed and fear that's driving the stock market, the markets. Uh, in this case, uh, the treasury is increasing in price is caused by fear of some sort. Possibly because of COVID, possibly because of other things, uh, but fear is increasing in the stock market and what that means is people, investors are rotating out of stocks into bonds and thus the price of bonds is increasing. We're getting very close to bullish levels. I would personally buy uh, treasury bonds uh, when or if we close above this level uh, which is currently at 150 or so so let's watch out for that great uh, briefly I want to touch on oil so oil currently is in an uptrend uh, we're price this is basic price action so we hit a 52 week high pulled back pretty sharply so this this candle I'm just reading candlesticks here this is a red candlestick with uh, significant downward pressure it is reasonable to expect a trip to the blue support resistance line it can be more granular and uh, see on the daily chart uh, here you can see that the indicators don't really line up so I don't use them when they don't line up yeah like I have my 6.0 and 2.0 the 6.0 can project into the future um, but sometimes they're not useful so I don't use you know things that are not useful that's that would make sense right so it's reasonable to expect a price decline for oil um, somewhere into the 69 seven, you know 68 uh, neighborhood so another 10 percent down it's reasonable to expect is it an actual reversal it's also possible once again see notice how the indicators are curving up towards the price level so the bearish levels are currently at the red line for uh, which is at 58 so it, it's not that far off um, and since the indicators are curving up that would be even easier for the price to get there so this is all potentially pointing to more um, unpleasantness unpleasant volatility ahead but at the very least the prices for gas might come down so that's a positive right again briefly on dollar so dollar index has entered the bull market back here in July 13th very clearly obvious on this chart we we're buying this thing I actually owned uh, what do you call it options on this thing uh, I, I sold them I just don't like the way they move but uh, overall we definitely nailed the direction uh, so dollar is moving higher well, let's look at gold gold is priced in dollars notice XAU divided by US dollar so it would make sense for gold and dollar to be moving in opposite direction however occasionally it doesn't happen so looking at XAU USD on weekly chart let's look at correlation coefficient but I'm going to change it and instead of uh, S&P 500 I'm going to put DXY and we'll see what does that look like so normally vast majority of the time gold and dollar index do the opposite you see if gold goes up dollar goes down makes perfect sense <laughs> okay now um, occasionally it doesn't so for example right now we're moving in the same direction gold goes up and dollar is going up so gold bro broke out this is again a new breakout uh, this is very bullish however because of the way dollar is acting dollar is acting quite bullish as well so dollar being strong is not really letting gold shine yet 
So I think if dollar pulls back even a little bit, gold will strongly continue higher and most likely will make a new record. New records are not that far off. So I am bullish on gold. We're buying gold. We're also buying gold miners um, in the members only section. I have two gold miners. Here's one. I am gold. I A G and another one Witten precious metals so we are buying them we're just waiting for more gold miners to break out but it looks like gold and gold miners will continue higher especially if dollar weakens and it wouldn't take much for a dollar to weaken it looks quite overextended right this instant even though it's in a bull market itself okay that's it for this week's recap again um, it's a bit of a shorter presentation, but I'm really strapped for time. We're actually developing a um, longer-term goal is to develop an ETF, uh, but right this instant we're still developing a model, and model is looking just beautiful. So stay tuned. I will announce everything. Most likely we will rebrand uh, I'll get to that as well. But for now, sign up for trading indicators. Go to mastercharttrading.com. Trading indicators are these lines on the chart. It will simplify your trading. It will simplify your life so much. I cannot just stress it how much it will simplify your life. Sign up. Give them a try. Seven-day free trial. If you don't like it, you know, cancel them. Uh, 30 bucks a month It's nothing, really. You can make thousands of dollars a month. If you want my ideas, then sign up for indicators and newsletters. You get you know, two different newsletters and two different additional videos per week. If you're a really um, serious trader, sign up for the Ultimate Bundle. Ultimate Bundle adds a stock screener where you can actually find stocks like, uh, like I showed you, Lowe's, for example. Um, so y your screener would actually give you this alert that happened uh, right there in august of 2021 good for 34 percent so if you you know i don't know put a thousand dollars in uh you already made 340 dollars and uh, your monthly fee is only ten dollars more above the newsletter so it's worth it sign up again seven day free trial if you don't like it cancel it so head over to mastercharttrading.com sign up and i will open the door for you all right. If anything, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, and have another great trading week. Bye bye.